And good morning, everybody. We are live right outside of our studios. And it uh, looks like we are uh, putting the finishing touches on this piece of uh, wood that we can now call art. And we're here this morning with Tyler and uh, Kevin Strauslin, and they are the, uh, the champions of a couple of competitions. One was in uh, Milton Freewater area. The other was in Reedsport. And uh, we've got Kevin, will you come over here for a second? I'm gonna talk to you real quick. You know, we start out with a big block piece of wood and now you've already got a cool little bear, which is, I mean, oh, look, look at the details. This, this was really quick. You did this in probably 30 minutes. Yeah, it's yeah. a quick carve type thing. It's, I like it, it looks pretty good. Now, the, the, the piece of work that your son is working on, let's talk a little bit about that. I've been teasing it all morning about how this has got a cool story. You got the black edges because he actually just took a blowtorch to it. Yeah, we burn it to get the back graphic thing to give it some depth. And then he'll bring in with another sander, he'll sand it and bring out the highlights of the facial, facial part of it. And we did this piece here for Melcher Logging because they got our logs for us this year for the Reedsport competition when we didn't think we were gonna have a competition. We had a bald eagles nesting in the trees up there when, we were, when they went to cut them and we weren't gonna have a competition. These guys saw it on the website. Because you didn't wanna cut those down because they had the nests. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's illegal to cut a tree with the eagle nesting right. in it. So, I mean, they- So then you were stuck without wood. You, you couldn't uh, have a competition without the pieces of wood you need. So, so these guys donated it? Yeah, they, they, their whole crew took the weekend and donated their weekend to cutting that wood and getting it down to us and doing what they had to do. Cool, and this is a way for you guys to give back, uh, which is which is awesome. I think this is a great idea. Um, real quick, what, finishing touches on this, you just got to put in a little more detail, I'm assuming, huh? Well, yeah, he's at the blocked out point right now. I'm just, I've almost got him blocked out, and then I'll take from there, I'll start hairing on him and putting details, like the eyes Wait. and nose and face. and Like it. Details to him. Well, thanks for coming this morning, you guys. Let's uh, take, take a look at this. This is something pretty cool that uh, Tyler's doing here. Now, uh, Tyler, you take the blowtorch to it. You were telling me because it, it, it takes the detail and... and, and it brings it, it all out, like, um, okay. right away. If you want detail to be, sh to be shown, you just burn it and then sand off the face of the wood, and then it pretty much looks three-dimensional, even though it's not. So what we're going to do after is you got your little sander sitting over there on your... Uh, on your uh, bed of your truck and then you take that and it takes the top layer of the black off but it keeps that that deep layer yep cool and this is almost done then? yeah just about okay and i'll see what i can do like with the edges i might do something up here and around the edges might put a little bit of texture to it just to make it look like rustic wood well good job you guys again congratulations on your on your first place prize you got their uh their little icons up here that tell you you know what Here's our award. Here, here, here's what we do. This is, this is how, this is how we do it. We get it done. Anyway, we'll uh, see the finishing touches here <laughs> in a little bit. Let's go to weather. Show you what's going on outside. Duo. They're showing us the winning ways of chainsaw sculpting. Keep it here on News Source today. Saw sculpture champion. Not a lot of people can say that. No, but they can, and they're here with us. And Jordan's out back keeping an eye on their progress. They started with just chunks of wood this morning, yeah. and now it's become just something amazing to watch. What? <laughs> what did you say? I can't hear you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, yeah, it's so funny. You, you were saying it, Kelly, that it started out with a chunk of wood, and now it's coming into a, a pretty cool little bear here. He even cut the grooves and the eyes, which is pretty fun. So coming up, I'll we'll uh, talk to Kevin and Tyler about their uh, chainsaw art pieces. They call this extreme artwork. I like that term. Okay, let's talk about temperatures out the door this morning and what you can expect for today. Of course, we'll come back here in just a little bit. Um, good, -chee -good, -chee -good, -chee -goo. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Uh, taking a look at Kevin and Tyler. These two are putting together a little show for us this morning. And uh, they're, they're wood carvers, wood artists. And you can see this piece that Tyler's working hard on here this morning. Uh, of course, what he did, we've been showing you, they chiseled out this little emblem here on this piece of wood and he burned it with a full-on blowtorch. And now he's sanding it down. And what happens is you can see the letters really come out and pop. So you get that 3D effect from that. And uh, it's pretty cool. So these two, father and son, they uh, have a shop out of Highway 99. But why they're here with us this morning is because they're actually, they were in a couple of competitions. One was out in Milton Freewater. The other one was in the Reedsport area. You folks won first place, and I mean, we've been talking about it. That's real cool, obviously. I mean, I don't know the words to describe it, but I want you to tell me, what does that mean for you? Well, for us, it's a big boost for our shop and our ego, too, I guess. And to me, 
it's not about the it, it, it's not about actually just winning it's about just being there and learning from all the other guys and your, your and, wife was telling me that when when these competitions go on it's i mean many many people there with all these chainsaws they fire them up and it's it's a sight to see oh yeah on the first day you've got these great big saws yeah and it's just 50 of the biggest saws you know world going off you know and it's just a thrilling thing, and then you watch all the big blocks of wood going off the first day, and you see the, the by the end of the day, you see you see structure coming right. out of these things, right. and you start to relate what they are. We have a couple of photos of, of, of your son and his competition, maybe if we could uh, throw those up real quick, because you know what, what you guys do in these competitions is you take a huge chunk of wood, and, and how do you get the site to decide, okay, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to create? Well, somewhat we think about four or five different things we want to do in the shop before we go to a competition. So when we get there, we see the log we get, yeah. and, we can, and then we can decide what could we can get out of that log. Cool. And then we go for it. And this year, Tyler was really fortunate to get a big log. I mean, the, Mark Bedard over there in Reedsport, he really helped him out with the getting that log. I mean, he, he went out of his way to make sure that he got the log he needed. Cause and it paid off. You could see he, he made a little canoe with, a, with an Indian inside of it, and that's what won first place, which is... Amen to that. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys for being here this morning. Again, they're going to put some finishing detail. We're going to go to weather real quick and show you what's going on out the door because we've got uh, a pretty nice day ahead. Tyler's. So, Jordan, they're nearly done with the projects they're doing. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much wrapping up here right now. Um, it's kind of cool to see the, all the tools they use. You know, they go from chainsaws to little Dremel tool type things yeah. into this big sander type thing. I don't even know what they call it. And remember how it started off at 5 this morning. What's up? And remember how it started off at 5 o'clock this morning. You know, you, this morning it was just a pure block. I mean, not that, but his little bear. You could see the block sitting underneath our little banana friend there. We were talking about him. Uh, and now it comes into detail into this uh, cool little bear. It's been so much fun to watch. Yeah. It really has. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jordan. Yep. 646 coming up in just a little bit. Fans will be wagging their tail. Jordan's out. Yeah, good morning, you guys. They uh, they let me take the blowtorch. Oh, oh, man. How scary is that, yeah, right? a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. You know, uh, Kevin and Tyler, they were talking to me about how, you know, you know, this is a step-by-step -step process, Kevin was just saying. And, you know, they the first step is to get all the big pieces off, and then you start getting into the little details, and then you get into the really finite details. Like, look, if you closely, I mean, now that it's burnt, oh, it's not hot, uh, you can see the 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 uh, the actual little hair that he has you know put oh, on there yeah. with the chainsaw. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll come back in a second. Let's real quick look at weather before we wrap things up. Real quick, temperatures today are going to be in the. I'm sure you folks want to thank him too, right, Kelly and Mark? Uh, it was yeah, great. Thanks for coming, you guys. Awesome work. Tyler and Kevin Strassland, awesome. Yep. Have a great day, everyone.